it has to do with the way that these cues are are segregated and purified. I think that a lot of the the problems come with how diluted the cues from, let's say, MSCs are when they're derived. So to essentially get, and we've done these experiments, but to get an MSC culture system to give you the same potency that you could get from platelets, you essentially have to, on average, take between two to four liters of conditioned medium. So that's right around 4,000 milliliters, right? And you have to reduce that volume to right around 100 to 150 milliliters, right? So you need to drop the volume by around 40 times in order to have pound for pound the same sort of signals and activity. Now, what do you have to do to achieve that is the problem. So how do you get these signals out of solution and achieve this results or causes you to have to use a lot of very harsh conditions like ultra centrifugation, where you're spinning these solutions at like 100,000 Gs or very aggressive filtration steps that essentially often distort these cues. The problem then is that when the cues are distorted or they're fractured, they no longer uh, can protect the messages like the antioxidant enzymes. And so you have to flash freeze them or whatever you do have in solution, it's gonna lose its activity within hours. We fortunately don't have that those types of harsh steps in the uh, isolation process for HPE. And so we're able to keep these cues intact, sort of how nature has made them. And in doing so, we have found, again, through a lot of quality control efforts, that they remain highly viable even for for years. So I think uh, I think that really makes the technology pretty unique in the field.